Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a money making guide with three different methods that have recently gotten a buff due to the prices of these items increasing over the past week. I will have timestamps to each method in the description as well so you can jump to whichever method you are most interested in. Enjoy. So to start we have killing Capsarius in your player own Slayer dungeon. Now Capsarius is a type of an ascension creature that you can capture and place in your player own Slayer dungeon. They can be difficult to find since there aren't too many that spawn in the dungeon and it did take me about half an hour to an hour to collect the five Capsarius souls for my Slayer dungeon. Now, Capsarius are an excellent creature to kill because they drop the Ascension Keystones, and these Keystones recently went up in price quite a bit, buffing this Moneymaker. As for the requirements for this method, you will need 99 Slayer to have access to the player on Slayer Dungeon, and of course, you'll need to have a Slayer Dungeon with the Capsarius in them. You can also join a friend Slayer dungeon as well if they happen to have a dungeon occupied by Capsarius. And a decent range level is recommended, so anything above level 70 would be fine, but I'm sure you probably have that if you have 99 Slayer. So aside from that, there aren't really any other requirements. I do recommend using a setup similar to mine. As you can see, I am actually wearing masterwork legs, which is quite odd. Of course, armadillo legs or some other type of ranged legs would be much better. But the key takeaway to this, and the reason why I am using masterwork legs, is because it does have scavenging four on them. And scavenging is an exceptional perk to have when doing this method. You will be able to kill up to 1,000 of these creatures per hour, meaning you will get quite a few procs. And this will essentially just allow you to save money when you are making better invention perks. Now aside from this, you will want to wear some averaged ranged gear. And you could use the Vampirism Aura to heal yourself throughout this method as well. You can also bring a spring cleaner as well, since this will be able to disassemble and alk some of the lower tier salvage for some extra profit. Now, for your inventory, you will want to bring aggression potions and an enhanced Excalibur and Elven Ritual Shard. Those are also helpful. You'll want to bring magic notepaper to note the ascension keys and then I do have some super restores as well as basically one of every noted item uh, just to make the inventory more organized. So now that you know everything you can start the method you will want the Capsarius in your small slayer dungeon. And once you do this, you'll want to turn on legacy and go to the middle of the room and use an aggression potion. Now, the reason you do want to do this method on legacy mode is because your auto attacks will hit much higher and you'll basically be able to one or two hit every Capsarius with an auto attack. So this method is fully AFK. You'll just need to make sure that your aggression potion is always active and to pick up the ascension keys before they despawn. Now, on average, you should get one Ascension Keystone every 64 kills, so you will be able to make around 8 mil per hour depending on the amount of kills you're able to get, but you should be able to get close to the 1,000 kills per hour if you're using a setup similar to mine. While testing this method myself, I spent around 3 or 3.5 three hours at Capsarius and got around 3,000 kills, as well as about 33 mil in loot from the Keystones, plus a few extra million from the Alked Salvage and Coin Drops. Another item that recently rose in price is Frost Dragon Bones. They hit an all-time high of 26k recently, and they're actually quite easy to obtain. You can collect over 500 per hour with all of the recommended items, which would make you over 12 mil GP per hour, and they are pretty easy to kill. So for the requirements, you will need 85 Dungeoneering just to enter the Frost Dragon's Lair. 85 Herblore is recommended so that you can make and use the Super Anti-Fire Potions, and you will want to have decent combat as well, recommended at about uh, level 110 or higher. Highly recommended is the upgraded Bone Crusher, and it actually takes two steps to obtain this item. 
First, you must purchase the Bone Crusher for 34,000 Dungeoneering tokens. Then, the second step is that you can upgrade it for 25,000 chimes, and then also 25 of the currency Teatu. Now, this will make it so the Bone Crusher can automatically pick up bones for you, which will basically double the amount of bones you can collect per hour. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the upgraded Bone Crusher, so I can't show you how fast you can do this, but I will demonstrate the method as best I can. Now, another recommended item is the Death Note Relic, which you can obtain with 108 Archaeology, and this will allow you to note all of the bones that are dropped. Using these two together, you will automatically be able to collect noted Frost Dragon bones after each kill. This will allow you to collect well over 500 frost dragon bones per hour, making you well over 12 million coins per hour. Frost dragons are located in the Asgarnian Ice Resource Dungeon. You can get here by teleporting to Port Serum, then going south to the dungeon, then to the Resource Dungeon area. You can also teleport here using the Dungeoneering Cape if you do have 99 Dungeoneering. Now, in terms of gear for this method, you will want to use ranged or magic. The frost dragons, they aren't too strong, and they will only have 8,500 life points, so you should be able to kill them quite fast, even with average gear. Unfortunately, I don't have the upgraded bone crusher, so I wasn't able to test just how many frost dragon bones you can possibly get in an hour, but with the method that I was using, so I had to go pick up the bones, I was able to collect right around 300 per hour, meaning with the Bone Crusher, I could imagine you would, could double this number. So anywhere from 500 to 600 Frost Dragon bones per hour would be feasible. And so for the third money-making method of this video, we have gathering the Calcified Fungus in the Croesus Front. This method only has one requirement being 88 mining, however 92 mining will allow you to mine the enriched calcified fungus which is worth a little bit more, so you would want to have 92 mining if possible. Also recommended is the magic golem outfit, the dwarven ram hammer, sign of the porters, and just any other boost that will help you with mining. So this is specifically a skilling money making method. Uh, however, if you do use the Dwarven Ram Hammers, you can double the amount of resources you will be gathering, but you won't be getting any XP. So there is a bit of a trade-off there. If you want to go for the most GP per hour, you can use the Dwarven Ram Hammer. If not, you can still make some money, but also train mining at the same time. And so although the Grand Exchange price of the Calcified Fungus is quite low, they are selling for a lot of GP per hour. As you can see, the regular calcified fungus is selling for around 8,600 coins each, whereas the enriched calcified fungus, which is the fungus you will be gathering on the uh, corpse that is shiny, those are worth around 12k each right now. So overall, doing this method, you should be able to make around 4 mil per hour. It is somewhat AFK. With mining, you do need to keep your stamina up if you are trying to get the highest amount of GP per hour. But aside from that, it is fairly AFK. And so anyway, guys, those are the three methods that I have for you in today's video. As always, I really hope you guys did enjoy the video and hopefully you will be able to take advantage of these methods while they are extra profitable. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.